Hey, this is Bill and Susan, and we're taking you into Sebastian's Schnitzel House in Wrightstown, New Jersey, for their special German Easter buffet, next on What I Ate. Being this is Easter, I'm going to start with their deviled egg. That's a nice deviled egg. The, uh, the filling is really creamy. Next up, I'm, I'm, I'll try some of this cucumber salad. Nice cucumber salad, creamy dill flavor. Now the whole the uh, star of the plate is this uh, this dumpling here. So it's pretty big. I, I have to cut this uh, potato dumpling in half. Delicious gravy. It's uh, it's it's a little bit chewy. It's got a bit of a, a texture to it. Pretty tasty. Probably very filling. Chicken wrapped in bacon. I'm gonna put a little bit of this sauce on it. Tasty, but a little bit dry chicken breast.
I assume this is some kind of pea soup and deviled eggs, potato, beets, and I think this is, it's the sign said Polish beagles, but I've never seen it or heard of it before, so I'm going to give it a try. And this is their soup. It's very nice and light. What is it, a cream of broccoli soup or something? Is it cream of broccoli or pea? But it just hits the spot. This morning is a little bit of cool on the cool side. This, I think they call it the uh, Polish biga. Uh, it looks like sausage with maybe some cabbage and uh, a gravy. <coughs> That's delicious. And it, I think it goes really well with that potato dumpling. So I'm going to have some with, with both. Mmm. Yeah. That's really good. This is stick to your ribs food. <laughs> So what you got here? It looks like we got some a variety of stuff. And um, this was still on the salad section. I didn't ca quite catch the signage for this. And of course, this is sausage and bacon. This is um, potato pancake. And this is flounder stuffed with crab. This is supposed to be the German pancake. I've never had one before. And then lamb stew and rice. Well, that looks yummy. I'm gonna have to try some of that. That one is definitely a pickle. And this is mixed in with the vegetables. I'm not sure what kind of sausage that is. The combination is very nice. I forget what this was. I think some sort of rice. Oh, I know, it was corned beef hash. A little on the dark side, too. With corned beef um, chopped very fine. I don't know whether it has apple cider vinegar in it, just a little bit, just a touch of it. Cabbage and some kind of simmered meat. It's still very nice. on the heavy side, but very welcome on a cold morning. Now let's try the bacon wrapped chicken. They had some cheddar sauce next to it, which I put on. Was well, that what it was? Cheddar sauce? I thought it was something like the tomato sauce or something. No, it was kind of orangey. Okay. I assumed it was some kind of cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. I really like the bacon, but then again, I haven't met bacon that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. I just thought the chicken was a little dry in my opinion, but it was still good. The tamo is good. The lamb was in the same chafing dish as the potatoes. It just seasons the potatoes very well. This is their crab stuffed flounder. So they wrap the flounder right around the crab meat. And 
and this is what a cross section of it looks like. Oh, that is yummy. If you like flounder, you'll really like this one. I'm gonna have to try that. <laughs> you got me sold. Oh yeah. Now let's try this one. This is going to be my first time trying German spet spetzel. Yeah, spetzel and the beef roulade. Okay, let's give the spetzel a try. Interesting texture. It just reminds me of macaroni. This is the beef roulade. Cooked to very melty perfection. Oh, these go very nicely together. Try it with some potato dumpling. Okay. <laughs> you can tell I'm really liking this potato dumpling. It looks like a matzo ball, but it is a totally different texture. It's like a mashed potato ball boiled up. But it's a little chewy, so it's not quite like just a mashed potato ball. Okay. Yeah, this beef roulade tastes perfect along with the spatula in, in the same bite. I'm gonna try this uh, beef roulade in a gravy. I'm not sure what it's stuffed with. Maybe cheese or something. We'll find out. Beef roulade. Mm. It's a really nice thin sliced roast beef. I think it might be wrapped around some kind of a potato stuffing. Mm. That's also very good. I'm gonna have to come back and get some of that and more of that potato dumpling. I'm going to try the, uh, the stuffed cabbage. Now stuffed cabbage is something that holds dear to my heart because we had some uh, Polish ladies who used to, to uh, do the school lunch in my, my school in central New Jersey and they, that's where I was introduced to stuffed cabbage. And I'm always on the lookout for a good one. This one has sort of a tomatoey cream sauce. Uh, normally, I just expect a tomato sauce with the stuffed cabbage. Let's give it a try. Thank you. It's good? Oh, yeah, really good. Stuffed cabbage. That's a very good meaty stuffed cabbage. The stuffed cabbage I'm used to is a mixture of meat and rice. Now this is more of all meat. There might be some kind of bread stuffing in there because it's, it's very tender. Uh, meat filling and this is another one. Wow, I gotta get another one of these. Okay. I've almost finished with the, their lamb stew and this is the first time I'm trying German style lamb stew. How, how is that? It's different from the flavors that we normally eat. Mild gaminess to it. 
can't quite pick up the seasoning besides salt and pepper. This is pretty good. I'm curious about that pork sausage you got. I know it's a breakfast link, but it looks nice and plump and well grilled. Let's cut it open. Looks like regular sausage. The sausages have a very good snap. This is a better cross section of it. Tell me whether that potato pancake is nice worth solid getting. Texture. So I'm skipping, about to go. Skipping over the bacon. And the potato pancake. I think despite sitting in the buffet pan, it's still crunchy on the outside. Mm. This is good. I could keep this in place of french fries. German pancake. I think I mistakenly got some corned beef on it. Uh, let's give it a taste. Oh, this is yummy. Sort of like a crepe. And since I got it mixed with the corned beef, it has a little sweet, salty thing going on. Absolutely delicious. Try some of this ham and gravy here. It's a pretty thick ham steak uh, sliced up into portions. And, uh, and forgive me if I sound rushed, we only have an hour here, so we're, we're trying to go through all of all this delicious food in the buffet. Here's the ham. Mm, it's a good ham. I'm gonna have that with a little bit of the uh, spätzle in gravy. I like the potato dumpling better than the spätzle. Next up, I'm going to try the uh, sausage and sauerkraut. Looks like a uh, pork sausage, well grilled, covered in, uh, actually there's no gravy here, and uh, it looks like it's been sitting in some sauerkraut. Mm. Mm, very nice sausage. Sauerkraut goes very well with it. So I'm going to go back to my favorites here, the stuffed cabbage and the beef roulade, which seems to have gone pretty quickly. So Susan and I were able to get the last ones. Um, but there's plenty of potato dumplings, so... 
those are delicious potato dumplings. I, I really, really like them. And I don't want to eat too many of them because there's so many other things to eat here. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this stuffed cabbage. I'm going to start off with the pork roast just because in Hawaii, we love our pork roast, hot roast pork with our paid lunches. The story behind that is that the Germans came to Hawaii to be the Lunas, the overseers in the pineapple and sugarcane plantations. And then when they wanted domestic help, they hired from the local population. And one of their dishes was roast pork with gravy. So that eventually ended up as part of the plate lunch offering. So let's give the German, the real German style a try. Yeah. This is very good. I can see like the slightly different seasonings. And in the, of course in Hawaii we add soy sauce to the gravy and to the simmering water because right now it's done stoked out mostly. No, no, no soy sauce in it. Salt, pepper, garlic. Very good. Of course, gravy is a food food. Now for the cabbage roll. Did not grow up eating cabbage rolls. Oh, this looks like very fine meat, mixed meat. to think that the stuffing is is a mixture of pork and beef. Yeah, I think so. Because otherwise, it's, it's like a very tender meatball. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little bit of breading in there. Yep. I said to myself I was going to avoid the breakfasty items, but I saw they had German pancakes there. And I figured I'd give these a try. I put, I dressed it up with some, uh, some applesauce. Here's a very chunky applesauce. And it looks like they have some kind of a, uh, a berry filling in there. So let's give this a try. I'm only guessing this is like a lingonberry sauce on the inside. It tastes a little bit like cranberry. Um, it's a very tender crepe. So it's more like, yeah, it's a, it's a crepe with some um, very lingonberry sauce in it. It goes very well with the apple sauce. I'm gonna try the uh, potato pancake now. Usually when I go to a place like Atman's Deli or, or, or Katz's, I really enjoy the potato pancakes. So here's a potato pancake and my thoughts on it. Mm. This tastes like, just like the potato pancakes I make at home with leftover mashed potatoes from Thanksgiving, some flour, water, egg, salt and pepper, which by the way is a good way to get rid of the old uh, leftover mashed potatoes. Gonna try it with a little bit of the applesauce. Mm. 
I saw they had sour cream up there at the buffet, but I forgot to get some. <laughs> And of course, Susan was raving about the bacon, so I gotta try some. Mmm, nice smoky bacon. Not too crisp, but that's the way I like it. Mmm. Needs a little black pepper. I'm gonna give that uh, pork, pork loin roast a try. Normally I don't go for that kind of thing because a lot of times it's dry. <laughs> so let's give it a try. Mmm. Very tender, cooked well, not dry at all. Sometimes when you overcook it to try to get it tender, it gets kind of a, a dry, sandy texture. This is perfect, it's a perfect pork roast. The gravy is good too. I wish I had rice. This would go well on top of white rice. I'm gonna have to go with another potato dumpling. This is really good. Um, I, I'm disappointed I didn't try this earlier. Actually, I'm gonna try some of it with the potato pancake. Good contrast of textures. Tender pork and a slightly crispy, chewy potato pancake. Chino dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I am so stuffed. I just decided to end with fruit. They have uh, cakes topped with peeps. They look awesome. Also, jello topped with peeps. And also little puff pastries. But no, and there's no room. That's all. And look how pretty the water carafe is. I'm gonna have to try some of this cake, uh, some kind of a marble bun cake. I'm gonna try to avoid the peeps. They're so cute. I don't want to eat them. I need a cup of coffee with this, but I've had so much coffee today, I'm, I'm gonna avoid it. But this is a perfect cake to go with a cup of coffee. And of course, there's the fruit. It's cool whip. And it's probably cool whip, but still delicious. Perfect berries and cream. 
Mmm, that pineapple's good. Perfectly yes, ripe. Okay, one more raspberry. I hope I don't pop. And so we finish our meal and head back onto the road to complete our four hour trip back home. Before we go, we'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to us as we build the channel. Thank you and have a great day. They're coming up from the